Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some ranked matches today. We're going to be playing here in Mythic for our first three decks, uh, starting with Grixis Diviner. So as you know, we haven't had the most success with Grixis Control recently. However, I've been playing against, like, just like whenever I've been, I've been playing, like, especially like the Selesnya deck and, you know, other decks, um, I've been playing against this, this Soul Diviner Grixis version. And it's been pretty impressive just playing against it. And so I wanted to try it out myself. So I grabbed a list off of uh, Goldfish here. Um, <clears throat> I think I changed like one card that I don't like. Um, but uh, yeah, so basically what Soul Diviner is, is this is a, a two mana, two, three zombie wi wizard that, you know, you get to remove counters from stuff to draw cards. I wasn't like super high on this card during our set review, but, you know, I could see it. Like, anytime you, you have an ability that says draw a card, it's certainly worth uh, keeping in the back of your mind whenever you are putting together standard decks. This specific deck is trying to get the pairing of Soul Diviner and Kiora, where you play Soul Diviner on turn two, then you play Kiora on turn three with the seven loyalty. You remove one of those loyalty counters to draw a card, and then Kiora can untap your Soul Diviner and you can draw another card. Um, you can stay back on defense if you want, like to block and then draw another one later. Kind of build your own divination. And then Kiora works well, of course, with Nicol Bolas the Ravager, drawing a card whenever it enters, or Sarkin the, the Masterless making a 4 4 as well. So we have a little bit of stuff there. And then, yeah, Soul Diviner can just draw extra cards with your Sarkin and your Nicol Bolas also. It doesn't seem like there's like a whole lot for the Soul Diviner to do, but it just kind of does enough, you know? It gives Grixis like that little bit of card advantage that we were kind of missing. Um, and uh, yeah, so like I think uh, I think I want to try this out. You know, like this is so something that I hadn't been having the most success with my other Grixis decks, like I said. This looked kind of cool whenever I was playing against it, and so I want to kind of try it out myself. So... Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I like, it works really well with Enter the God Eternals too. There's just one in the sideboard here, and I guess we can't probably fit more in because we already have six five drops, but Enter the God Eternals, of course, is a, is a card in Grixis that helps you gain life, helps you stay alive, stabilize, and then it's a, it's a zero, zero creature with four counters, so you can remove one of those counters, make it a three, three instead of a four, four draw card, and so on. Uh, but I guess we just can't fit in more fi more fives, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's try. So starting today, we're at number 529. I'll be playing five matches with, with each one of these decks here in Ranked. Really, the goal is... Basically, the goal is to 3-2. Um, you know, if we can win more than we lose, that's, that's a successful run. So hopefully, we're going to do that. Thanks, James. Um. <laughs> hey, Dodger Dog with a donation. Completed bronze two diamond challenge. Best of three using red deck early. Uh, red deck wins only. We're keeping our hand here. I learned a ton about sideboarding from you. Huge thanks, sir. P.S. Love the tie. Aw, thanks so much, Dodger Dog. But way to go, way to rank up there. All the way from bronze to diamond. Good job. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go watery grave. Thanks, Dodger Dog. All right, what do we got over here? Just a lot of removal. So hopefully we can just hit land drops and get to the Sarkin. Diviner is not a land drop, so we're gonna go ahead and ditch that. Because we need lands, it's just we're both just kind of sitting on a bunch of removal here, a couple of Demir decks. That's unfortunate. We have how many lands do we have in here? I thought we had a decent amount. We, yeah, we have twenty six. That's what I thought. Which I like, I like the uh, more land heavy. Um, just gonna go ahead and shock in here to have access to the bedevil. 
probably won't matter, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Jackbok, welcome back. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. And Johnny Pop Pie with the tier two sub. Getting more hype boats in the channel. Thanks, Jack Back and Johnny Pop Pie. That's sub number four on the day. I had not upgrade, updated that yet. All right, we got a Kefnet in here. Let's see. Kefnet's certainly an annoying one that's just going to keep on coming back. I think I'm still going to use Contempt to use my mana a little better over Bedevil, even though the Exile doesn't really matter too much. Yeah, that's, yep, that's Hawkeye Sleep on the couch back there. That's where he's basically been ever since lunch. Ever since he had his lunch, he just went straight to the couch and said nap time. Guys, Kanta's awesome. All right, well, let's just go ahead and make a dragon. Come to me. I fight with a dragon's rage. Make another dragon. Behold. Of course, activating. Activating Sarkin with Obnixilus' cruelty up there isn't great. Oh man, oh my gosh. Both my Nickel Boluses. Yeah, this one looks pretty lost. I don't think we're being Escanta or Kefnet. Yuck. Yeah, Kefnet's definitely a strong card. Works really well with Soul Diviner, of course. Well, sorry, not Soul Diviner, but Listen with uh, Kiora. So if I, if I tick up Sarkin, then he just gets to use his Cruelty. This is Kanta, is just a huge bummer. Can we stop drawing lands? Like earlier we got stuck on two lands and had to ditch a bunch of good cards. And then that, that uh, Enter the God Eternals is right at the right time, hit four spells, and I've drawn three lands since. Focus and discipline, and meditate and prepare. Wow. Hey, Valorax, y'all. This was overwhelming. As Kanta's just gonna ruin us. And we'll as Kanta and the Kefnet. Ugh, five lands in a row. Wish we had as Kanta. We got Soul Diviner instead. So I guess. We're going at Narset, Eldest Reborn. I don't, 
don't know if I need my own Enter the God Eternals or not. Really, I have two different duresses in here? Oh, that's annoying. I didn't notice that before. We'll have to change that after this match. Uh, let's get rid of this thing. Let's see. Hey, DNC. I actually want Soul Diviner. Basically, what Tyrant Scorn can do... Sixty-one. Tyrant Scorn is is just fine against. I'm gonna just go down to two Narset. It's just fine against uh, that thing the mills for. No, I'm gonna take a hostage taker. We'll see if we can hit land drops this time earlier instead of just later. Alright, so they have a bunch of early removal still. Why why the why is he playing moment of craving after sideboard? Like what is he even I guess he wants the moment of craving thief of sanity? Wow. That's Kanta. Must be nice. I guess I guess I could have played Steam Vents. Have the double red, but it doesn't really matter. The music seems kind of low. We begin. <laughs> Magnificent. I guess I could have attacked with Kiora. Sorry, I was thinking about the music there. I forgot I wasn't going to be able to draw a card. Should have played that differently. Come to me. Really want to find Nicol Bolas. Dragon God. 
That'd be the card that I'd like to draw most of all. Man, we are really good at drawing lands. Both times we kept two landers. I mean, our opponent doesn't isn't hitting too many land drops, but they'll have they'll hit land drops eventually, and then they'll have a lot of spells. Still have much to learn. But after that that first Narset, I should have plus the Sarkin and just killed the Narset with the Kiora. And the next turn, I could have minus and drawn an extra card. Back to the depths. I know more All right. You could learn in the there we go. Of the multiverse obeys me. That should help out. Definitely wouldn't mind this creature dying to be able to give me Nicol Bolas. I could have just like simply attacked with this 2-2 into the 4-5 first and just see if it died or not. Truth lies beyond vision. I did tap two of my black sources, which is not great. But yeah, Ugin's just going to take over. All right, so Thief of Sanity, we're going to need some answers, too. I wonder if I don't want Kiora with our opponent playing a bunch of Narsets. If I don't want Kiora, I don't think I want Soul Diviner. I'll guess I'll just I uh, guess I'll just keep a couple Soul Diviners. Hey, nice, Yud. Open a paper booster, got into Misery Born. Awesome. Well, pretty decent looking hand. We'll see if it gets torn apart by Thought Erasures. We have been kind of fortunate with having the Thought Erasure hands twice. Um, our opponent could have it this time. I was expecting Narset there, but I'll just negate that. It's kind of expecting the turn three Narset, which is why I held up the negate. Um. Do I Bedevil or Rampage? Even though Rampage doesn't cost as much mana, I think that's my play. Bedevil being an instant and being where we get to target it. I think I like that more. We'll see if there's a counter spell over there. If there is, I'd rather Sarkin get countered than Nicol Bolas get countered. Let us fight. 
Uh, I would bring Selesnya Arcbow. Your Our crazy bird. Arrived. I'm only human. I'm glad our opponent didn't shock in there. If they shocked in there, I probably wouldn't play the Nickel Bolas Dragon God, but now since they didn't shock, we can just play it. But with the shock, I would have been like really nervous. Still this moment of craving. Mind and body should keep an open mind. No, I haven't played Banthark Bow. All right, one and zero with Grixis Diviner. And. Uh, it was kind of blue black matchup. Snickle Bowl's Dragon God is just kind of unbeatable. And whenever we got to just resolve that card, it's just kind of unbeatable. Hey, Daft Square. Thanks for the sub. Thanks, Tens Ball. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the Arcbow deck would work well with just three Arcbows instead of four. Yeah. You don't like necessarily need four Arcbows. It's just a really solid card that you want to draw basically all the time but like it's it's okay to play three it three playing three or playing four of a card doesn't doesn't um impact the amount of that card that you draw a ton it doesn't the um the biggest impact on playing any specific card is playing the first copy as far as like changing percentages and then you know they have diminishing returns whenever you start adding more you see it less than like when you do of just adding like the first copy but yeah going from three to four is a difference but it's not it's not an over or overtly huge difference well, this is not a very good hand against red unfortunately oh no 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 cancel there's something truly spectacular <laughs> cool, kid. Picks this cool looking deck and needs something to do with all these soul diviners. Yeah, give this a try. Yeah, that's that's the only reason to play Craving there was would be because of Thiefus Sanity. The last match, but yeah, I didn't have it. Looks like we're dead. Uh, we're at six. That's six points of burn right there. Turn two steam can on the play that you don't kill usually means you're dead. And our opponent found the line. A turn four kill in standard right there. All right, let's get all these uh, moment of cravings, ritual of soot. Maybe not hostage taker. Maybe not. Into the God Eternals. I want a bunch of negates. This extra duress. That's oh, I, f I forgot to change the duress again. Um, so that's ten cards. <sighs> what ten cards do we want to take out? I want to take out one of these Nickel Bowls Dragon Gods. Maybe. I probably need to just cut down another five drops. Hey, what's up, Sculpted Mind? I'm thinking the Kioras. The Kioras just don't affect the battlefield at all. I'm thinking we get rid of them and maybe even the Soul Diviners. I mean, Soul Diviner can, like, block and stuff, but it also. With three toughness, it gets bolted. 
maybe it's maybe it's worth it. You know, if it just trades with a bolt, that's probably worth it for us. We're gonna get rid of this Narset. Uh, that gives me 64. Let's, I guess I get rid of a Sarkin. No, maybe not. Sarkins actually end games quickly. I get rid of another Dragon God. And Rampage. What are these cards I'm supposed to be taking out here? Alright, take out the other big Nickel Bolas. The Carnival kills the small creatures effectively. I guess I'm going to take out a Rampage in a Carnival. I, know, I was kind of panicking there. The like, Carnival is great against Firebrand and uh, the 2 1. Um, you know, just one mana to kill those things is just awesome. But we did just add in a bunch of moment of cravings, so. All right, we're going to be a little slow here, but thankfully we're on the play. Maybe we'll draw an untapped land here and be able to cry the Carnarium. That'd be nice. So on the Feather deck, uh, basically I put it together today. I just ran like a couple of practice matches, and it was it played just fine. Um, all right, well, I'm not going to wait before I kill that thing. I'm... But... I'm not, I didn't really test it too much, so I'm excited to, to try it out later on. Uh, I had a donation just put together a feather deck, and I want to try it with Naya with Hero Precinct 1. Uh, I played against somebody playing a Naya feather deck in our sub battle stream, uh, either either this past Saturday or the Saturday before, one of those two. And it looks kind of cool, it looked like a cool idea, and so I kind of put together my own there. I could wait a little bit to. Maybe I should actually. Honestly, that was probably a bad cry of the Carnarium. I'm probably was supposed to Soul Diviner this last turn and then cry the next turn because of this Pyromancer. Wow, and they had all creatures. Man, that was a kind of a bad cry of the Carnarium. Basically, I didn't want them just to have like a Wizard's Lightning that they kill my Soul Diviner, then get to attack for a bunch and play the Pyromancer and everything. Just kind of wanted to. Help the bleeding. Hmm. Unfortunate. Definitely wanted to enter the God Eternals there. Ugh. Not even a spell for us to negate. It still deals damage, lets the Steamkin attack in. I will make that two for one trade but we we got to hit this land drop we don't have any untapped lands right now either so it's like we basically have to draw a shock land which is real bad for us but we got to yeah we just can't can't get this fifth land maybe they'll draw a fifth land for us All right, come on. This is it. Fifth land. Down to one. Um. There you go, me.
Dang. Double Ravager. Come on, draw a land. So basically, they've only drawn four lands out of their like previous 16 cards. So that's why I went with me. I thought that they're kind of due for a land here. And I didn't want to mess that up. I would have drawn... Because they it puts this in backwards. So I would have drawn Negate and then Summit and then Bolus Bolus. No sword can pierce my... <laughs> Opponent did not whiff. Please whiff. Okay, that's a good draw. Are you ready? Uh, no, Eternal Madness, I'm not. I'm streaming. I don't. What do you mean, Emmanuel? I'm. I'm here. All right, we got game two. It looked bad for us, but. We got there. We ripped that land at the last possible moment. I didn't stream yesterday. I took I took yesterday off. If, if that's here, yeah. If you're asking about yesterday, I just had a day off. Sometimes you need those, um, and I announced it in the announcements in like the Discord channel. That's where I usually do. Um, if you're not part of the Discord channel. There's a huge, big community there. Lots of different rooms. Lots of places to talk magic. There's the link there. It's for everybody. You don't have to be a subscriber to join. But there is a subscribers only room. Also. It looks solid. The turn three cry of the Carnarium. Hey, Jeff. Open our opponent only has one spell to play this turn, and the Steamkin dies to the cry of the Carnarium. It's not very likely. But that's what I'm hoping. It's just... Wow. What's happening? I'll take it. Okay, we're doing it. Still doing it. Want to draw our nickel boluses? Sark don't want to be so bad. So the problem with countering the light of the stage, I'm gonna do it. The problem is they may have frenzy. Now it would just be like really dead to Frenzy, but it's just, you don't see a ton of Frenzies right now. A lot of people are like more into Chandra these days. Oh, what's the point of that attack? What are you doing over here, opponent? Yeah, y'all are glad I, yeah, y'all are saying that I should have negated that. It's definitely like the. I don't know, it was like the, the easy play to, to negate that, but if our opponent did just play a frenzy, it's possible that I would die, kind of thing. Um, where like the light of the stage is not likely going to kill me, frenzy could. Alright, 
Come on, four four mana card, five mana card? No. Any four or five mana card. We haven't seen one yet. Through our first fifteen. I mean, I guess we have these contempts. Alright, well, I guess those are four mana cards. Fair. The Soul Diviner. Just gonna go the distance. No, am I supposed to press? Better not be Firebrand. Uh, this is what I get for having this dumb sideboard duress that's different from my other duresses. Gives us lethal next turn. Wow. Lethal next turn, good enough. Grixis Diviner. Starting 2 0, with the goal being 3 2. That's strong. Maybe. All right, if we, if we lose our next couple matches, we can blame it on switching out the duress art. Maybe having the two different duresses is good luck. <laughs> I can't go back, back to playing non arc mode decks now. I enjoy the flood protection way too much. Yeah, it is really good flood protection. Hopefully, Duress is good against our opponent. Hopefully, our opponent's playing a lot of spells. Well, could be good, could be bad. Temer. This is a Temer deck. Hey, Kel, Kel, KL Zen. There you go, KL Zen. <laughs> nice to see you too. And McCarty, what's up? So I'm probably just going to cast Carnage next turn. Just discard two of these lands. Cool, got some sweet news. I like sweet news. Yeah, I, the Slesnia Arcbow deck is a very good best of one deck. It is. Oh, now I can't keep a devil up. Uh, I guess coil. We've only drawn interaction. Let's see if we draw Nicol Bolas the Ravager. 
Or that that's the one I wanted. I was thinking Dragon God in my mind. I just said the wrong one. Alright, that's perfect. And the game ends, because this card's messed up. Will resonate throughout the multiverse. Carnage does make Nicol Bolas better. Like earlier, whenever we just got the two for one of just discard two lands from your hand. And it does. You know, them having two less lands, it certainly does make the Nicol Bolas better. Leviathans, octopuses, serpents. Oh, I love them all. <laughs> How much did you pay the shuffler? Can I have their number? <laughs> I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Tamio. Tamio's cool. Seek and find. Spellbreaker. That card's good. <laughs> uh, that's even better. Oh, I should have bedeviled the Tamio first. They're just gonna give her the Tamio, aren't they? But yeah, so I was, so I had the mana because of the Kiora untapped there. So I was gonna be able to bedevil Tamio, make them discard the Spellbreaker, and have them at three lands. I mean, the game was over, but. Yeah. Hey, Encrypted Mine. Let's see. So they're Temer stuff. Like Tamio, Spellbreaker. I don't know about this Ugin. Maybe Ugin. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel like Ugin and Eldritch Reborn and Enter the God Eternals. Like, I think those are just going to be better than Sarkin in this matchup. So we can kind of just replace Sarkin with those. Replace Cry of the Carnarium with Ritual of Soot that can kill, kill Spellbreaker. And Hostage Taker, which can also get rid of bigger things. Um, Phoenix is going to be kind of a problem. Like, it's possible I want Moment of Craving instead of Rampage. Saw Biogenic Ooze? Yuck. I'll keep it like this. <laughs> so McCarty went back to back 301 and 31 record in 20 person weekly legacy events with Burn. Way to go. Oh, I could have trimmed down on my duress count, I think. Maybe the duress could have been moment of craving. Dress is looking solid here, though. Soul Diviner. This gives me two of each. Even though, like, the Domri's ambush is a sorcery, so you could be like, oh, we'll just wait till they ambush with the sorcery there. Um, man, I'm just going to be shocking this whole time. 
Uh, the Spellbreaker does have Hexproof during their turn, so we have to just bedevil the Hexproof during our own turn. Our opponent has not had good luck this, this game. This match. I mean... All right, 3-0. Start to the day with Grixis Diviner. So the goal is to go 3-2. Like with these, you know, playing these leagues in Mythic, that's all I want to do is just go 3-2 whenever we play five of, you know, we're playing five matches per deck. And we're playing with house money now. We got our three wins. See if we can get two more. <laughs> yeah, we had four shocks. There. It's all... All we were doing was just shocking in. <laughs> Sorcery speed, Dramokus command. Ooh. This could be pretty sweet. Man, I, I wish we were on the play with this hand. It's kind of a little slow on the draw. Island, island. Mono blue? People still play mono blue? Looks like it. Ow. Boo. See if we were on the play, would have been able to play that. All right, hopefully no counter spell. They only got one random card in hand, and then just drew another one. Ooh, I guess I no, because they have the storm tamer for the contempt. No counter spell. Come on. Ah. Yeah, Blast Zone's really good against Mono Blue. So is Little Teferi. So is Vivian's Arcbow. Hmm. All right, good hand. Would have liked our chances a lot more on the play. That's kind of magic right there. So we can have Narset, keep them from drawing more than one card a turn. We got some duresses, some negates, a bunch of moment of cravings, a ritual of soot that does some stuff. Um, hostage taker, it's okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've, I haven't lost with this Lesnia Arcbow deck to Mono Blue, because, yeah, Arcbow is just incredible. It just costs two mana. You can sneak it in anywhere, and then just their entire game plan is, like, shut off. They can't counter anything anymore. Definitely want Rampage out. We have, like, a lot of good stuff here. Am I taking out Sarkin also? That's like, how am I like winning the game? Maybe I just take out the Kiora Soul Diviner combo. Get a Dragon God back in here. Hmm. I have Ugin. Would I rather have Hostage Taker? 
No, I think I'd rather have a Dragon God. Yeah, Hostage Shaker is not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not like spectacular, but yeah, it's it's a solid card. But everything, I think everything in our deck is solid. Um, and I think I'd rather have the Nickel Bowl's Dragon God as like one real big heavy hitter. I guess I have the Sarkins as like heavy hitters though too. But when, when we have like the whole deck of interaction, we need to be able to pull ahead. And that's what Dragon God does is pull ahead. Hmm. This hand kind of sucks, but we have draw steps. Draw steps are good. I think I should have gone down a land since I lowered the curve like that. I think that's what I should have done, is just taken a land out. I guess we'll see if they have another spell pierce. Two spell pierces? Come on. I wasn't surprised by the first one with how they were, how they played it. Um, I was expecting the first one, which is why I didn't play the Narset right away, but the second one, that's a bummer. Hey Techstar, going good. Is there any difference in the Arcbow deck? we played today compared to the one from a few days ago. Yeah, just sideboard I added in a Tristani because of all the decks trying to steal our things like hostage takers and stuff. I took out one Harpooner for it. That's the only difference. Gross. I think this is a loss. Quench. Ugh. Hey, Balding Yeti, what's up? Yeah, mind control stuff is kind of popular. Also, yeah, Tristani's just solid. against many foes like you. I think we're going to draw Duress. Ugh, never mind. Negate. Thing. And Ritual of Sit. Well, 
Man. That was my plan to draw both. Ugh, there's Thought Erasure and Ritual Set. I want both of those. Second so Thought Erasure plus Sarkin. Like, Ritual Set just doesn't resolve, right? So, I guess I try Thought Erasure, Sarkin. Still, his Terramander is bigger than the thing I'm making. Oh, but the Sarkin Trigger will be able to kill the Terramander. Like, the Sarkin Trigger plus blocking can kill a 5 5 Terramander. No! Rip. Oh, I tried. All right, three one. Very good hands for our opponent both those times. Our when I was keeping that hand with a lot of lands, I was admittedly not going to beat like their better hands. Six cards is always kind of risky. <laughs> yeah, it got quenched multiple times and spell pierced multiple times. Two spell pierce, two quench. Got me good. E. All right. I... <laughs> I'll keep five lands at times. I don't. I don't know about the six lander. I defy gods. Defying you will be easy. So I guess we just make them discard two lands. They have infinite lands anyway. Like, is it worth it to hold on to the carnage? Try to make them discard lands later or something? That can't be worth it. I don't know. What's up, Chief Seth? <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, I'll take that. I'll take that trade. <laughs> I would much rather take one absorb than, you know, like a plains and an island when they have infinite lands. Good trade. I feel like we need like Ascanta or something. We haven't really gotten Soul Diviner going. It's been a problem here. Yeah. They just have more counter spells, right? Maybe I'll find another duress with auto erasure. We only see one duress. We have like the five other discard spells that we could just draw into. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, with Rekindling Phoenixes. I am a god once again. It's the only a matter of time. Has consequence. If only I had one more mana, I would have been able to just anchor us Rampage, you know, untap another land with Kiora. Rampage away the Teferi. But hopefully not another big Teferi. Yay. Alright, here we go. 
Do I think Esper Control or Midrange is better? Tough call. I think they're both very good. Um, tough call on like which one's better. You know, like they're both good. Bet like so subjective on like saying which one's better kind of thing. Witness a moment of my power. Kind of which, which, whichever one you're more comfortable with playing and you play better is better for you kind of thing. But they're both very good. Hey, Prugor, good afternoon. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this deck really does justify four Kioras. The Kioras are, like, solid on turn three, though, just to, like, ramp into, like, our five mana plays and stuff. Also, that's like a solid thing about Kiora. It's like basically we have like this mana creature that we just didn't need, kind of thing. Mana Planeswalker. Yeah, Kiora. Like when you when you untap with Soul Diviner and play Kiora, it is that's a that's a nice combo. I have other schemes to attend to. My intellect is. I haven't grounded. hated that we have these Kioras in the deck or anything. Kiora is kind of worse against like removal heavy decks that are like killing your soul diviners and stuff. But when you play against like mid range decks, <clears throat> they don't have as much removal. Kiora is awesome. Hey, nerd girl. <laughs> no, R is ranked. There we go. Ugh. I can't do anything about enchantments. I'm playing Grixis. Do you kill enchantments? Nope. You kill enchantments? Nope. <laughs> I have all the removal and nothing to do with it. Defiance is infuriating. Smarted you eons ago. Eons ago. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put a casualties of war in this deck. Casualties of war is a cool, cool card. Yeah, bio essence hydra. Yeah, I have a few different bio essence hydra decks. I really like that card. It's so big. Just gonna go to discard again. I guess I might like discarding a Kiora, I guess. Just cry the Carnarium. I don't really know how our opponent's gonna win, per se, but I don't really know how we're gonna win either. <laughs> I mean, I guess. We just have Nicol Bolas ultimate. It's it's can our does our opponent find anything to deal with Nicol Bolas before it ultimates? I yeah, I would not be surprised if our opponent has uh, Prison Realm, the enchantment. I would not be surprised. We haven't seen it yet, of course. So annoying! I can't just kill that right instant speed. Skin. Bounce your Shalai. Spark double Shalai. It's a nice combo. Trust me, I have a plan. That's target player. And I can't I can't do anything because the instant speed there. A moat of my power. Hmm.
So I could go put another Dragon God into play. I need to keep this key or I need to keep this cry of the carnarium. I don't really know my out here. Yeah, I know I can transform Bolas, but I don't really know what that really accomplishes. So we're going to find out. This power is incredible. Death means nothing to me. I have defeated death. The dead shall serve me. This isn't a fight you can win. Hold that thought. So we'll see what we can do here with all these bolises. I don't I don't know how we're getting out of this. We need like Sar Sarkin, I guess. Can make a I don't know, they just get to they get to attack for nine here. Yeah, Liliana would be nice. That that'd be each player would sacrifice too. If this wasn't target player, but it is target player. No, I can't I can't make them sacrifice. I can't target them. I've got time. Is unmatched. Mm -hmm. I don't think I get out of this. My knowledge is endless. So I guess I need Sarkin. Hurry! Can't. Not doing a good job finding Sarkin. It's not a great auto tap. Tapping three red. We have three Sarkins in here. We haven't seen one yet. I need to make another blocker. You are all so generous. Crazy. All this stuff is target. Yeah, they had 11 mana and set up just the combo of drop drop to fairy, and then I can't cast instant speed stuff, and then drop Shalai, and then spark double Shalai. It's a good combo. That's what I needed last time was Elisir born. 
Else reborn could have done it. Uh, Sarkin would not have been bad either. <laughs> yeah, we need a languish. I I discarded one of the Cry of the Carnariums. If we would have drawn two, we could have gotten rid of the first July, but then after they played Lyra, then that, that uh, option was off the table. I feel like the Soul Diviners would be really good in this matchup. They doesn't seem like they're going to have removal besides like Little Teferi. Um, if I just take out Cure, then Soul Diviner's not really doing very much, is it? Three and two, a Soul Diviner cure up. <clears throat> Alright, we're down a game. That was a pretty cool game, though. Pretty nice combo from the opponent there. That was cool. That wasn't one I've seen before. No, I'm not. Oh, they had Dovin's Veto anyway. I couldn't negate that anyway, but no, I would not want to negate that. I wanted to play the other Soul Diviner. <clears throat> Get the clock started. So we didn't have last game. In the last game, we just had Kiora sitting around forever. The Soul Diviner Eldritch Reborn combo is pretty sweet, also. I can just keep the Soul Diviner on like, you know, every every one of your turns you make them sacrifice something. They're kind of dying. They're kind of dying. Yeah, you have no idea. You could do yeah, it's a, it's a, that's a really cool combo. Cause yeah, Eldritch Reborn enters, gets a, gets a counter. Um, then you just remove the counter, then the next turn, instead of it going to the second chapter, it just goes to the first chapter, the second, tur the second turn. I was honestly, like, just thinking about just playing the Eldest Reborn there. And just drawing an extra card with one of the Soul Diviners, attacking them down to four. And just drawing another card and having the Eldest Reborn on the battlefield. That's what I was probably just going to do, but then obviously we drew the Ugin, so... 
That was an easy play. <laughs> the new th Soul Diviner, the new Thief of Sanity. Oh, this can't target enchantments. Oh, never mind. It doesn't work. Never mind. It doesn't work. Oh, I just thought it was just permanent. Right. Never mind. Remove a counter from artifact, creature, land, or planeswalker you control. Is this an artifact? No. Is it a creature? No. Land? No. Planeswalker? Basically. But no. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. I just have two Bedevil, two Contempt for removal. I honestly probably need a little bit more removal. The, pro the problem with uh, Rampage, though, is Shalai. Shalai doesn't get... You can't Rampage with Shalai out. Kind of thing. Hostage Taker isn't great with Little Teferi being able to just, like, rebounce there their creature yeah i'll just keep it we got elisha born nickel bolus those kill stuff yeah soul diviner does work real well with blast zone remove the remove that counter kill some tokens but yeah soul diviner not hitting sagas that is a real bummer i th i just thought it you know it I, I remember now that it doesn't, but just like when I had those two cards in my hand, I was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> it is nice with treasure map. Keep on scrying and drawing. No black mana. Am I supposed to mulligan it, or am I supposed to draw black mana? How are we doing over here on black sources? We got, oh, both of our basics are black. So we got 18 black sources. That's easy to draw one on the draw. Ugh, that thing costs three of them. Well, that's a little more than one, but. No, we don't have any blast zones. We just have the, we have the 16 duels and two swamps. Opponent saying the good game, thinking that they're dead. Because they mulled the five, and I kept seven. But what they don't know is that I don't have anything. All right, now I have everything. It's probably Dovin's vetoed, but it's Bell Pierce, sure. But I still want to do that before Lilt Fairy. The Teferi Time Waster comes down. All the black sources. We got the cool swamp. Tilt. Time to Ravage. I couldn't even cast Dragon God this turn if I wanted to because I don't have three black sources, so. Emergency powers. Now we got three black. And I do like playing this over Ugin because the ability, you know, they, they're a little short on permanence and stuff and, you know, uh, I guess resources. Not just permanents, but permanents and cards in hand to make them start exiling. I will wipe your bloodline. My schemes are never ending. And I think we got this one. Your past is unwritten. 
Ooh, a deck with Kiora plus Gilded Lotus. Into ramping into one of the finales. Okay. That does sound kind of cool. I don't like Deliver Unto Evil. I don't think it's... I don't, I don't think it's that strong of a card. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. All the cosmos are mine to control. My mind needs a rest. I guess I just keep the negate up. I can't really lose. The art is amazing on Deliver Unto Evil. I will give you that. I, I know I could have flipped Bolas, but if I flip Bolas, then I don't keep negate up. Yeah, Narset Emergency Power. So that's what our opponent was doing. That's another cool combo. Oh, you can't draw more than one card a turn? That's too bad. I'm going to draw these. Just go ahead and discard your your hand. Shuffle it back into your library. All right, well, a real good showing for Grixis Diviner. Yeah, this, this had a real good showing. We beat Mono Red. <clears throat> and we beat a bunch of other like blue white, blue black decks. Um <clears throat> So yeah, this deck worked out pretty well. Carnival is a card that I actually kinda like right now with how with how little Teferi, the te uh Teferi time waster is like all the rage. And Carnival does get to ping the Teferi for one immediately, like right after they play it. We got to Carnage a couple of times against lower decks, and it was really nice of just being on our four mana slot, just getting rid of a couple of cards from them. Dragon God was awesome. Sarkin was kind of cool. Nicol Bolas was awesome. We didn't really get to do the whole Soul Diviner, Kiora shenanigans. I would still want to play the same list the next time, but we did, just didn't get to really pull it off at all. Um, but I've played against this kind of deck a few times, like where they've been doing the Soul Diviner, Kiora stuff, and it's kind of gross, like drawing so many cards. Um, but yeah, Grixis Diviner was awesome. That was that was really good. So uh, four and one in Mythic there. We'll take it every time. Uh it felt better than the other Grixis decks that I've been playing recently. It did. Um, yeah, it felt pretty good. So there we go. Uh, if you, uh, yeah, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching some Grixis Diviner, and I will see you for another video.